writing workshop for beginners lesson number nine would you believe it when i first started on lesson one i never thought i'd get to lesson nine but here we are and this week we're going to go on a journey into the future we are going to do robots robots with a nice practical purpose ones that are going to help us in these times so let's get cracking with that but but before we start i'd just like to thank you all for all your contributions it warms the cockles of my heart when i see all your work that you've done you're amazing absolutely fantastic so please keep sharing them at my web address uh, my email address should i say which is uh, pete at pete you can also share them on all social media formats which is facebook and twitter and instagram if you're on any of those please do send them in to there uh, i'm on twitter personally so if you send anything to me i'm sure i'm going to be able to make a nice comment for you because she works absolutely fantastic and at the end of this little video there's a gallery of some of your work that you've sent in i've had tons and tons of contributions so it's wonderful so i might have missed one of you out i hope i haven't but if i have don't take it to heart your work's great i know there's always next week's lesson you should begin should be in on that one all right so let's without a further ado let's get on with this cartoon workshop see you later <laughs> Okay, let's get cracking with our first robot. This one's going to look quite human in proportions. It's going to have arms and legs. So we'll give it a, a head shape first, but this one will be sort of square. A classic robot shape, especially uh, in the 1950s, before even I was born. But robots uh, tended to have this kind of shape. And let's do, this is the head, so let's put some sort of eyes in or that I guess it's a robot so these will be lenses wouldn't they like a camera lens two circles but we will make them look like eyes because that has the more comedy cartoon effect to them so we've got our robot eyes and instead of putting ears we can put something like this uh, these half moon shapes on the sides like that that looks fairly good doesn't it and we'll go across so it's got a mechanical mouth like so and let, oh, antennas you always need an antenna for a robot so it gets it receives its sing, signals and go like that boom little bubbles on the top and what you can do is you can do a little electric sort of current shape like that so it's getting some messages sent into it beep 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 beep, beep kind of thing give it a little metal neck like that and right we'll do a body and so what we'll do we'll do the same shape as the head but we'll just make it bigger so out just past the head shape down out past the head shape and down and join it all back up together so that's a, another great thing about drawing robots is that we can make shapes look like this we're not trying to make it look like a human so it doesn't really um uh, i'll just put a little line in there so it's got like flexibility in the neck kind of thing you'd imagine so yeah so we've got this square now we don't need to try and do a proper body shape and then we can just put some little dials and knobs and and what have you on it because it's a robot and i'll do this here like a little pressure gauge sort of thing you can put what you want on if you just put make one line slightly thicker on one side of your circle it gives a little dials a little bit of a depth to them so it's almost like you could twiddle them twiddle, twiddle them so that's a great we're going well now with this and let's put some arms in and a bit like bender's arms in future armor we'll do our arms a bit like that so little flexible metal lines there and out and round It looks like his arms can move all over the way in and out and we don't have to do hands either because it's a robot so let's do like claw type things like so right legs again legs will do like benders legs will do these flexible legs 
similar width to the arms I guess for this one a little curl round at the bottom there like a little smile and that gives your character a little bit of depth as well and we'll do that with these as well go slightly bent around so it looks like his uh, his legs are round so if we bend them like that and we'll put some feet in so as we've done with other feet in other lessons we, we go out slightly at the back of the leg and we'll do the same at the front we don't have to do human shaped feet and a big smile to join the two lines up and there we have our robot but we have to give our robot some kind of uh, use, don't we? I'll just draw a little uh, line so it, with the robot sort of standing. And you see how I've done that? I've drawn the line so it's halfway into the foot. So it looks like the robot standing firmly on the ground there. And with our robots, we'll give them a purpose in these lessons. So for this one, he's very hard and um, metally uh, so i'm going to it's a hug o -matic, so he's this robot gives you hugs free hugs hug o -matic. and would you really want a hug from a big metal robot probably not and that's where the humor comes in because you're doing the opposite of what you expect and that's where your gag is so here's this like metal uh, robot giving you free hugs. And if I just do a little line like that on the sides, it looks like it's shiny, metal, metal, shiny lines. Little, little lines. And there he is, there's our first robot, a hug o -matic. For our next robot we're going to change the shape because we've already done one that looks quite human so let's try and do one now that uh, we just make a shape up so let's make this one like a dome like that so we're just messing about now with different shapes because robots don't have to conform to our, our ideas of what something should look like we can make a shape up and we can say this is our robot. So we're gonna do this, and like with the first robot, we have to give it some kind of eye so that we then can, as a viewer, relate to it. It's got like a human character to it. So for this one, we'll do a nice big lens in the middle, big eye. And looking up. So that's a fairly straightforward shape and everything. Uh, let's give it some dials and knobs and, and what have you. So another circle for another dial. We can even uh, put a little nick like that. So you can turn, turn it to certain levels. And we just add things, make them up. They don't they have to have a purpose really. But the more little bits and bobs you stick onto your robot, the more robot it looks like. Um, R2-D2. It's got all sorts of stripes, lines and stuff. We don't know what they are, but it makes it look like a robot, doesn't it? So let's do a square thing here. And there's some lines in it. So it looks like it's doing something official. And then we can repeat that same thing, but on its side. And look, that's starting to look a bit like a mouth. And if you can make things that make it look human, it gives it more, more identifiable characteristics. So there we've got the body. Now let's try and do something with arms. So we've done flexible arms, so let's do rigid arms this time. So long thin ones sticking out of the sides like this. And we'll do little cups on the end. A bit like Dalek ones, I guess, if you're familiar with what a Dalek looks like. There we go. Always have to do an antenna, don't we? So there's our robot's antenna and ziggy lines again, sending out electricity, sending signals out. And for this one, we always have to with robots is give them a, reason, a way to move on the ground. So for this one, I'm going to just do a stick down 
like this and now watch this I do a little a little line and little stick there you see that and now I'm going to do a circle starting from the outer line all the way around all the way around and then another circle like that as well inside and there we can see it's like it's uh, it's axle I'll color that in so we can make it look like a tire there we go and then we'll put some movement in in a minute I'll do because it's a wheel we'll do that straight on the line like that okay now we need to make it look like it's moving so we do the movement lines so we go a little kill and a wheel there and a couple there and a couple at the top here. So the first line's always longer than the second line. So it shows it's moving. So it's running across, racing. Sometimes you can do it like this as well. Lines out like that. So I'll give you a bit of both. So it's one or the other really when you're doing cartoons. You either go the little lines or the double lines. And if you do the double lines, you go like that. They speed lines. That makes it go faster. And right, so we've got to give a reason for this one to exist. And well, this is a this is a love robot, so it's shooting out hearts into the net, into the world for people to get feel the love. So they'll bang like that, shooting out at these lines, exploding out with little cups. There's our little love robot. Uh, I'll put something here again to give it more more metally feel. Even we could uh, uh, put a couple of rivets. Circles. Just keep adding things. The more you add to it, the more robot it'll look. There is our love matic speeding away. For our final robot, what we're going to do, we're going to make this one really quite practical because the other two robots have been giving out the loves and the hugs. But this one's going to be something that's uh, also more of a useful physical thing. L giving love out is absolutely fantastic, don't get me wrong. But sometimes we need our daily tasks um, accomplishing and that's why we have robots for doing the rubbish jobs. So this one's going to do a very rubbish job that we as humans don't like to do. So I'm gonna build a different head shape this time. It's almost like the original robots, a bit smaller, the second robot. So again, like a little dome shape. It doesn't have to be this shape. You can decide to do a square one, a round one. We're making all this up as we go along. And that's the great thing about robots. As I've said, they don't follow conformity. And so for this sort of eye, we'll do like this shape on this robot, like an oblong shape. And I'll do a line in the middle. So it's more of a sterner kind of robot that, isn't it? It's more efficient. It's not, it doesn't need eyes to show love. This one's got a task to do. And again, we'll do kind of robot ears. And this one can go, this is sending out its electric waves there through its ears receiving the signals it's found something it's got to do and again we'll do a little square body like this and let's let's put some robot things on levers and pulleys buttons so what i'm going to do with this one i am going to put a square shape and this is going to be a little trap door because this robot collects things and puts it into its little trap door so we've got that there and at the bottom here I'm going to put a hinge so a couple of lines like that so it's like it's hinge for its door I'll do that extra thick shade at that side look like a knob right so that's the basis now what we need to do is give it a mode of transportation and I'm going to do caterpillar tracks on this one so we do a little 
sausage shape all the way along the bottom. Apologies if I just knocked my camera again because uh, it's right close to my drawing arm. So I'll hit it from time to time. So this tractor tread and so tractor treads need tires to go, it can go around, wheels to make them go around. So one on that end and one on that end. And then we can just fill them up with more circles, more wheels. There. And maybe these little lines that make it grip into the ground so it can go uphill. Like that. And let's put some ground on there, just scooting across the ground. But it's not moving yet, is it? I haven't done the movement lines. We're not quite finished because this is this has got a job to do. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little arm out like this, sticking up. And then a little down. And then like a scooper. So around and across. So an arch and join it up. Like that. And I'll just put another couple of lines there so it's it can extend out and go ch -ch 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 -ch. if it needs to. Okay, so let's get this swing in because this has got a rope, so we need little movement lines like that. And in the other robot that I showed you about movement lines, I'll show you the ones where it makes it look like it's going fast because this has got to go and pick something up in a minute. And then the two lines like this. And then we go little lines inside. So it's speeding, speeding across the ground. It's got something to pick up. And this one is a robot for picking up dog poop. So it's a pooper scooper. So it's a pooper scooper robot. And it's a scooper pooper 2000. If you always give it a number, makes it even more robot like pooper scooper 2000 doing the jobs we don't want to do and it's off to pick another poop little antennas again and um, we have robot writing so it's all square poop poop Oops. And poop. Little lines again to make it look metal. So there's our very useful third robot. And it'd be brilliant now to you go and try and make your own robot up, robot up and its own useful application. Okay, I hope you've had some fun drawing those little robots. Hope you can draw some of your own with their own great unique skills. Please send them in to me. I'd love to see them. I'd love to see what your imagination's created with these great robots. And don't forget, you, there's no mistakes with robots. You can do what you want with them. Put as many little bits and bobs on top of them as well. Any shape, it'll work. Don't you worry. Just go ahead and have a bit of fun. Okay, see you guys.